Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo in one shot edition. Thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to hell. Uh, and not because you guys wished it, just because we want to. Because we're yeah, so stop writing it about it. No. That's right. <laughs> you go to hell. No, we aren't going to hell because of you. We aren't kissing your ass. That's not how this goes. Uh, <laughs> but thanks for joining us. I think you're in for a funny two hours, uh, especially if you're older, because there's going to be a lot of old shit jokes. So, Caitlin, if you're watching, uh, you better start Googling shit now because these, these are going to be some obscure statements. Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join us on Discord. Uh, if you want to be on a one-shot or on our talk show, not this Tuesday because it's Socium, uh, hit us up, mhobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Remember, this is for mature audiences only. Our language and our humor are going to be uh, a little off tonight. Uh, and if you are in the mood for some new math rocks, uh, and who isn't, uh, run on over to Twitter, uh, find at Pirate Dog Dice, hit them up with your idea on your personalized dice, see if they have the time, the inclination, or uh, even the given a shit to make you some. And if they do, great. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike ours, especially this one, this one's going to smell like roses and Ooh, success. <laughs> yeah, kind of smell like brimstone, I think. Uh, oddfishgames.com has over 60 different adventure scents. Uh, I don't think they have the smell of hell, but they have the smell of putrid sewers, which is kind of how this game is going to go. Uh, so check that out. And if you want to be a writer like me, only much, much gooder, uh, check out their shine system. That being said, tonight, uh, these guys go into hell, and we'll explain why. But first, let's go ahead and introduce you to our cast. Jeff, you are on the top row tonight, so you start. Who are you? Mm -hmm. and who are your plans? All right, I'm Jeff. I'm playing a fallen Asimar piloting, right. uh Oath of Vengeance. So we're going to take some vengeance out on some devils or our co-workers, you know. <laughs> nice. Sure you will. What's your character's name tonight? Carl. Carl. Oh. Carl. 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 Uh, well, don't forget to change it so that your next business meeting can fully embarrass you yet again. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, Kevin, same question, different answers. Hey there, I'm Kevin, and I am a cast member of Murder Hobo Inc. and glad to be here tonight. Uh, yeah, we're going to hell. This is the <laughs> highest level that I've played in fifth edition. Not run, though. There's technicality there. And tonight it's going to be super easy, barely an inconvenience as we go to hell. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm i playing Brand, who is a um, cleric paladin. He's a uh, guy who uh, knows glory, redemption in all forms. And uh, he's ready to rock tonight. When I'm out here on Motor Hobo Week, you can see me on the socials at Kevran Games. Or you can listen to my podcast, Game Night Heroes. And we got a new episode coming on Tuesday. Nice. So check us out. Glad Adre to be here. Address? Yeah, I'm at Kevran Games, and Game Night Heroes is at Game Night Heroes. Easy peasy, folks. You can't mess it up. <laughs> you don't know our audience. John, last but not least, same questions, different answers for you as well. Hey, yep. Hi, my name is John, and I've been on the show several times. I'm part of the Socium thing and uh you'll see me in about two weeks no three weeks from now well something like that um let's see uh i've been a long time gamer since the original D, D came out and i'm playing zeb he is a not a paladin so there you go nice uh, but he is a fighter and he also is a spellcaster so kind of like a paladin except more customized uh, yeah, and more beefy, a little more. Well, I don't know. I think uh, I think Jeff's character out, out hit points me, but I um, mean he's pretty he's pretty hard to hit. He's got really good armor, so we'll see. Funny that you think that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, these guys. Uh, long story short, if you didn't catch the title card, uh, they're going to retire. Fuck it, they have had enough. They are done. Calling it quits. Hanging up the spurs. King Tempest, their longtime benefactor and supplier of money and other things, had a small problem. His wife, uh, Queen, what's her face? <laughs> Verbena. Queen Verbena uh, was tricked into eating a poisoned pear 
and has left this mortal plane. Uh, the high priest, however, doesn't know why she's dead, so he surmises that Verbena's not dead, she's just been kidnapped. Uh, he has done some soothsaying, some scrying, things of that nature. Uh, he's found her, she's on hell. But that's the only thing he knows. She doesn't know if she's alive or not. So uh, the king has promised these guys land, uh, holdings, and most importantly, no taxes for 10 years uh, if they can go back and retrieve Queen Verbena. These guys all know Queen Verbena. Uh, they can recognize her on the spot, hopefully. Shouldn't be a big deal. In and out of hell, how tough could it be? Uh, now, King Tempest has also put in a lot of coin. He has gotten a special medallion. Uh, this thing will allow the three of them to hold hands, sing Kumbaya, zip into hell. The next time they uh, use it, get them out of hell. So easy peasy. Uh, unfortunately, only good one time. So in, get her, grab her, and out. Easy peasy. Uh, who wants to hold on to it, or do we need to roll? Oh, we should roll for sure. Everybody roll D20. High roll gets it. Do we want it? <laughs> That's great. That, that is a good question. <laughs> 17 for me. Eight, 18. Six. Let me get some real dice <laughs> nice, so I can that Nice throw, see. Carl. Zeb, uh, <laughs> he gives you the amulet. Now, folks, these guys are 15th level, so they are big wigs. Uh, they're each sporting three potions of extra healing because taking a long and short rest ain't going to happen tonight. Uh, it, it is a uh, A-team kind of mission, only with a lot more killing. So, Zeb, uh, you are handed the amulet. The high cleric tells you, flip the switch, push the button, Bingo, bango, boingo. Make sure you're all holding hands so you can each hold one hand and form a line or you can kind of hold each other and whoop, whoop. Uh, But if you aren't holding hands, bye-bye. <laughs> Let's you clarify, say. holding hands? Can we hold shoulders? Can we hold feet? Can we Gotta hold hands. Hands, okay. Hands. Don't worry, right. it'll be fine. Sure. Uh, the high priest and the seers ask you if you have any questions. You haven't figured out which level of hell or which dimension of hell she's on specifically? Uh, this device is programmed so that it should take you right there. Excellent. Where, but where we don't know where there is. We Not know really. it's hell. Okay. Well, we'll try it. Y'all grab a hold of my gauntlets. Oh, yes. Now, I, I feel good about I assume, this. I assume you guys are all wearing metal armor, right? Oh, yeah. I've got okay, full, that that's... half plane on. <clears throat> That works great. Okay, Zeb, ready to rock this thing? Yes, I am. Uh, so it's great glory. The, the king wishes you well, the seers and the high priest take a big step back. <laughs> <laughs> Zeb, you gonna fire it up? Yeah, click the button. Oh, Eight well, grab everybody. And then, yeah. Okay. Oh, nice save. <laughs> Zeb is in hell by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, uh, Jeff, thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, thanks, Jeff. So. Got, got uh, okay, a blinding light fills the room, and poof! Uh, uh, you are surrounded by dead trees and a dark sky. Doesn't really smell like hell. Uh, everybody give me perception checks, please. Okay. You didn't think I was going to make this easy on you, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I see hell. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a five. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. 22. And 18 for me. Brand Zeb. Uh, running water? Oh, I want to mention that my character has uh, is part warlock. Well, I mean, he's got like he's magic affinity. Okay, so he he has <laughs> a one warlock thing, which is to be able to see um, magic at will. So okay. he's going to probably when he's looking at things, not necessarily all the time, but when he's just kind of seeing what's going on, he's going to look for magic. So he looks he looks to see if there's any magic nearby. Nope. Okay. 
old dead trees. Let's go to the water. What kind of you, hell has water in it anyway? Uh, you guys go through this thick dead forest. Uh, it takes about five minutes. And you come to a pavilion. A stone pavilion with colorful tiles. It looks like a bus station. This doesn't seem like the glorious adventure I was promised. Uh, as you guys get closer, you notice uh, there are people sitting in the pavilion. Uh, these people all seem to have injuries of some kind. Uh, and as you approach, they all look over at you. There's about seven of them. And uh, there's, let's see, there's a, a child. There is an attractive young woman. There's a guy in a weird helmet, and it looks like his pants are cut in half at the thigh for some reason. Uh, there's a tiefling with his horns chopped. Uh, there's an old witch-looking lady. Uh, there is, uh, I, I believe this term is uh, okay to use, a slut. Uh, <laughs> and th there is a guy with a pencil thin mustache rolling dice in his hand, and they all just look at you. And uh, the one guy with the weird helmet just looks weird. Uh, Does the weird know? helmet have any writing on it or glyphs? It's, just, it, it's kind of full here and then sloped back, and every once in a while. He's looking at something on his wrist and holding his neck. Uh, the guy's wearing a very tight shirt and like bicycle shorts. <laughs> Hail and well met, good people. I'm Callan Brand. I am here on an adventure with my good companions here. Have you seen Queen Verbena? No. <laughs> <clears throat> Who is Queen Verbena? Which one answered us? Uh, you know what? Number six. The old witch. I am Agatha. Uh, you notice that she's all her clothes are like burnt. So you aren't really sure what's going on there. Her hair's kind of burnt. She looks like she's been burnt. <laughs> burnt. Uh, also, uh, everybody roll perception. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha! 18. Nice. Nine. 16 for me. Brand, Carl, you notice that the child uh, is kind of a pudgy male, uh, and he's got some kind of uh, rock in his hand, and he's kind of doing this. Uh, and you notice there are some ants right around him. And he just kind of... Burn him with this. Well, there's, there's not a lot of sunlight here. So oh. it's just not working. Uh, so uh, Agatha introduces herself and uh, looks at you three. And she's like, how'd you die? We didn't. Uh, uh, the Hellboy looks at you and he goes, what are you doing here? We're looking for the queen. Uh, oh, we just covered that. Vegetable, yeah. Princess vegetable or whatever. Yeah, how, how are you here if you aren't dead? And you notice he's, he's got this giant axe wound in his shoulder. <laughs> we have been sent on behalf of our king, his majesty, Lord Tempest. This amulet, I say, and I point towards the amulet that Zeb has, has given us passage into this plane so that we can rescue Queen Verbena, the most beautiful and illustrious of all of the majesties in our realm. The guy with the weird helmet's doing this. <laughs> you all seem to be injured. Is there perhaps <laughs> anything that we could do to provide you with some healing? A bell rings out. From the left, you guys see essentially, uh, and I'll use our words, a redneck pontoon boat 
coming up to a wooden dock. Uh, there are two individuals on this. One is a chain-smoking elderly woman, and the other one sitting at the back is wearing a captain's hat, and he just looks happy to be here. Uh, on the side of this pontoon boat, it says Styx Express and CTL. Everybody who is already present gets up and forms a singular line at the gate to the dock. Do we know anything about the mythology or the meaning behind that? Religion reference? check, all three of you. Uh oh. Religion. What kind of check? Arcana? Religion. Religion. Uh, okay. okay. Luckily, I rolled high because I have a negative on intelligence Ooh, checks. Nine. nine. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, Eighteen. Uh, is Zeb? No, you don't know what it is. Uh, Carl and Brand sticks, sticks, express. sticks, the river sticks. Uh, the individual who is directly in front of you, number eight, the guy with the pencil, uh, mustache holding the dice. Yeah, sticks, jackass. Uh, the river of the dead. That's where we're going. We're going to hell. Uh, you also notice that there are uh, one, two, three, four, five individuals, as well as the chain-smoking elderly woman and the guy piloting the ship. Uh, the chain-smoking elderly woman walks over, unchains the gate to this pontoon boat, says, all aboard, it's coming aboard. Uh, by the time you guys get here, uh, get to your spot, uh, most of the seats are taken. Uh, the ones that are not are C, E, and K. So who wants what? Well, this is a way into hell to rescue our queen, her majesty. So I will <laughs> gladly step on board the pontoon boat. I'm going to go over to seat K and take a seat. Seat K for brand. Carl and Zeb? I'll take C. C for Zeb? Okay. Carl, that leaves you with E. Each one of you uh, sits next to some individuals, uh, and you are kind of puzzled. Uh, and then uh, a, a booming voice is heard as the elderly woman seems to hold something in her hand. So, um, oh, we need a coin. So Hello. We <laughs> Welcome to Caravan Travel Line. We appreciate <laughs> your business on your final voyage. Please present your two pieces of gold once I begin to make the rounds. We ask that you stay seated as the short journey will only take a few months. <laughs> but please... Remember, it is just the beginning of your afterlife. A few reminders. We at CTL <coughs> would prefer you not bother other passengers, as some of them are still a bit freaked out at being dead. We also ask, strongly recommend, <coughs> that you keep any and all appendages inside the craft, as touching the water from the sticks could be hazardous to your long-term well-being. Our first stop will be Hades, so those departing should be ready. The fearless leader for this trip <coughs> is Captain Sam Clemens. He has multiple years of experience in river travel and has an almost perfect record for having everyone arrive at their destination <coughs> safely and on time. I am your hostess, Mildred Felch. You can ask me any questions after my smoke break. <coughs> Again, thank you for traveling CTL. We hope this is the best part of the rest of your life. Oh, God, I hate these people. <laughs> I believe your mic is still alive, oh. says the captain. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> well, there you go. The public announcement has been made. Everybody has taken their seats. We're going to go ahead and start with Zeb here at seat C. Next to you in seat B is a gorilla. Like an actual gorilla? 
an actual gorilla. Uh, directly across from you here in seat G is the kid with the magnifying stone. Uh, but next to him is the pencil mustache guy at H. Uh, for Carl here in seat E, uh, you are sitting next to the weird guy with the helmet doing this. Uh, Hellboy is in seat D. And here in seat uh, I, she was already here. She's a uh, leggy, attractive blonde carrying an oversized purse with small dog in it. Uh, okay. Over in K, uh, which is brand, J is uh, the uh, slut. And next to you at L is uh, the old crone that got burnt. And then, of course, the kid. <laughs> the other seats here, uh, definitely, definitely a priest type. Uh, Mildred Felch is over here by the gate. Uh, there's a guy in a big, big hat, big hat, like really tall, like a 10 gallon hat. Uh, right here with strange pointy boots uh, in N uh, is the attractive uh, young lady. And then M is a girl holding a baby doll. So uh, Captain Sam Clemens is sitting right here. Ding, 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 rings the bell and the boat lurches into the water some more. So uh, I'll give you an hour of sitting around, everybody will notice that G, the young boy, is not going to stay in his seat. <laughs> he is going to roam around the boat. Again, this is a pontoon boat, so not the sturdiest of vessels. Uh, but if any of you would like to interact with any of these people, I will now listen to your appeals. Brand's going to turn to the woman who has been burned huh? and say, uh, how did this injury befall you, lady? Well, eh, they said I'm a witch. So they burnt me at the stake. Mm. Why yeah. aren't you hurt? Well, as I said, I'm an adventurer. <coughs> the tales of my glory and expertise are already known across my land. But um, here, mm -hmm. I am to tell a new tale as I arrive Rescue Queen Verbena with the help of my trusted companions and tell a new chapter of the amazing story. Yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Why, why are you not dead? You don't look dead to me. Were you poisoned? No. We have used magic to traverse the gates of the mortal realm. We have arrived here to rescue Queen Verbena. Ooh, magic. Uh, the girl to your left uh, puts her hand on your uh, leg and pats it. Why? You are very brave. And then she starts to seductively stroke it. <laughs> Although I am rather fond of the feminine touch upon me, please know that I am busy and rescuing my queen is paramount to me at this time. She uh, seductively bites her lip and then kind of too busy for me. Alas, yes. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Carl, Zeb, you want to interact with any of your people? Where's the kid? Is he like... He's running you know, all over the place. He's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> oh, uh, I forgot to mention, this boat, uh, it's a glass bottom. So oh. as, you, as you take off, yes. you see body parts whacking up against it and like an eyeball just ooh, scraping across the bottom. <laughs> Cute. Uh, yeah, he, he's on all fours, odd even. Odd, he is over here on the left side, fucking around with his thing. Okay, I'm going to look at the guy with the penciled in mustache. I'm gonna, I go, you don't look that hurt. What's, uh, how'd you die? He takes off his jacket, turns around, and there's a dagger in his back. I had a lucky hand and a bad blind spot. Oh, yeah. Someone stabbed you because you were winning? <laughs> they accused me of cheating, my good sir. I disagree. I felt that I was lucky. Uh, and he, as he does so, he kind of scratches his nose and he dips and a card falls out of his sleeve. Oh, I don't know how that got here. 
And he Our introduces shot. himself as uh, Spots McCallan. He is a 24, or he's a 48 year old dwarf. So he's young by dwarven standards. The uh, slut is a human. She's 40. Think MILF. Uh, Agatha the Witch is an 82 year old gnome. Hellboy is a 70 year old tiefling. Ding dong with the bicycle helmet. That is a hint. Uh, he's a 32 year old human. Uh, the attractive wife is a, an elf. The kid is a 12 year old ish human. And uh, your boat uh, captain is about 300 because he's a half elf. Uh, mm. Mildred is uh, probably several centuries old. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> And has the personality of an alley cat. So, uh, Carl, you want to interact with any of your newfound friends? Um, I asked the young lady across the aisle, how you doing? Give me a uh, D20 and I had your charisma bonus. <clears throat> uh, hang on. Eleven. Uh, with the first natural 20 of the night, she's like, hell is going to be really bad. <laughs> uh, Zeb, Bottoms over there, uh, Carl. Uh, Zeb, uh, the gorilla goes, hey, what's this smell like? <laughs> as soon as he talks, Zeb's like, wow, I didn't think you could talk. Why shouldn't I talk? You're a gorilla. No, I'm a mage. I've just been polymorphed into a gorilla. Well, how'd you die? Uh, sex. As a gorilla? Yes. Okay. Not going to ask. Wise choice. So what do you think this smells like? <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like? He's a freaking gorilla. It's uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'm not, not very gonna, good. I'm not going to say that this trip seems to last forever, but it seems to last forever. At one point in time, the child, whose name is Dudley, is watching the body parts float by, and he's doing this. Uh, Carl, you're too far away. Zeb and Brand, give me a perception check. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oops. Eight. Uh, Twelve. Neither of you noticed, but the boat starts to rock a little bit, and Dudley starts to giggle, and he, he's doing this some more. Uh, the Captain Clemens, hey, 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 knock that shit off, young man. Charon will have my ass if I wreck another ship. Uh, Reroll your perception checks. Nineteen. Oh, she's uh, six. Uh, Brand, you are still looking at the stunning Mildred Filch, mm. uh, but uh, Zeb, you notice that this magnifying glass increases the size of the body parts floating underneath your vessel. And there is an eyeball the size of a beach ball, and it's trying to bob up, and that is causing the disturbance on board the ship. Hmm. Hey, hey, kid, come here. Uh, what's up, mister? Hey, how much you want for that uh, eyeglass thing out there, that little rock? I'd surely take a gold piece. Really? Do I have gold? I, I had gold. I don't know. How much did yeah. we bring? You guys got gold. All right. I'll give him a gold. <laughs> he takes the gold and he hands you the stone. I take a look at it. Does it look magical? Eh, not really, but uh, in an instant, it's gone. Uh, Instead, you have your gold piece back. Hmm. Arcana check, Zeb. Not very good at that either. Uh... Three. Oh, no, one. Sorry. One. Well, mind. What the fuck is going on? You don't know. Uh, but the kid goes over to the gate here at the top 
and he starts leaning over and dipping his hand in the water. Oh, I wouldn't oh, be doing yes. that, young man. God damn it, you fucking kid. I am going <laughs> to kick your ass over the edge. Uh, uh, he looks, and as Mildred Felch comes over, he just pew, splashes her with water, putting out her cigarette and pissing her off. Nice. Huh. Oh. Now I am going to use you as a cigarette. Come closer. He continues to splash at her. Brand's going to get up and move across the boat. Uh, young man, and I'm going to actually put a hand on his shoulder, steady him for a bit, and try to pull him back a little bit. I don't think that's for the best. Just sit down, wait patiently. We'll all be there shortly. All three of you are cannon check. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ten. Five. Nine. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, whatever. Uh, brand D12 against me. Oh, boy. Okay. 12. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> he, he, he splashes you with water <laughs> for your torso. Mm. Ah, fucking kid. Mildred comes over. You better the- get that looked at. That's not good. <laughs> Really? I assume Mildred's going to beat the child into submission. <laughs> that child's going over the edge. <clears throat> you know what? Uh, Dudley Poindexter goes into the drink <clears throat> courtesy of Mildred Filch's boot. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody on that side uh, you see poor Dudley ah, 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 and hands just start to come up and just sink Dudley. I never oh. like kids anyway, but seriously, <laughs> dude, you need to be careful with that. Should I be worried of the bit that's on me? Yes. Uh, well, how do I counterbalance it? You cannot. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't bode very well. Um, since I'm not actually dead, uh, should I be more worried than perhaps someone who is dead and is here rightfully? Yes, definitely. Interesting. Well, um, you just need to make sure you have protective gear on at all times. (laughs) Excuse me. I got to have a cigarette. Of course. He just takes a step back from her. Yeah, you, you notice no irregularities. Okay. So Mildred maybe. Uh, but anyway, after about three months, <laughs> you, you guys oh my <laughs> finally hear the bell ringing uh, and Captain Clemens, all ashore, let's go ashore. And he pulls up on uh, this side uh, and Mildred Hacks her way over there. Make sure uh, to take your fucking trash with you. I'm not picking up after you assholes. <laughs> Mildred, Mildred is charming. Uh, <laughs> your delight. Six of you now get up uh, to form a line uh, headed over to, to disembark. Uh, Mildred is sad to see you go. She is a company woman. <laughs> uh, I would encourage you to take any trash with you. Uh, as you disembark, everybody roll straight up D20. One or two means you screw up. 18. 12. Six. Carl. <laughs> Carl trips going off the gangplank but lands on solid ground. Uh, this ground is very dusty, uh, very parched earth kind of thing, a lot of sand. Uh, and to one side of you, uh, you see these enormous walls uh, and then two large guard towers. A well-worn path leads up to the uh, guard towers where there is a gap. Uh, the walls are 50 feet high. Uh, blackened stone look very unassailable. Uh, as one of the individuals points out to you, 
Uh, oh, good. It's the walls of Eberos. Uh, great. We're here. Uh, you hear the bell ring. Ship takes off with all those passengers who are headed somewhere else. Later, suckers. <laughs> Fare thee well. Well, we'll miss Mildred a lot. Uh, I hope we are at the right hell and didn't get <laughs> off at the wrong afterlife. There are six people ahead of you. They plod forward, and there is a long line of people waiting to get through these towers. It, it's on a slope, so you really can't tell what the hell the holdup is. Uh, but you get in line, and you're waiting. Uh, you guys want to do anything or just wait? I want to try to just go up to where the obstruction is. I'm going to cut right through the line, march up there. Like, I mean business. Wake up! Line cutter! Wake up! Wake up! Hope your suit's hot. Uh, everybody, give me a constitution save, by the way. The air is a little bit thin here. It's a little bit choky. Made it. 26. I'm sorry, 24. Yeah. Excuse me. 24. 20, 26. Yeah, 22. All three, of, all three of you are fresh as daisies coming off the river sticks. So you got that cool breeze going for you. Uh, as Brand uh, cuts ahead of the line, uh, he receives a plethora of verbal insults uh, about sardine can and things of that nature. Uh, as you get up towards the obstruction, uh, Brand, you hear a small bell ring, 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 ring behind you. I turn to see what's making the noise. As you turn around, the dude with the weird helmet that goes back, always checking his pulse and holding up the strange rectangle, uh, mm -hmm. runs into you unless you can make a dexterity save. He's on some kind of contraption that has two wheels, and he sits on a seat in between them. You've never uh -huh. seen anything like it. Interesting. Uh, dexterity save, you said? Yep. Um, Twelve. <laughs> Nap 20, second of the night, he rams you into somebody, and that somebody is a female, uh, and her name is uh, 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 where are the names? Come on, Frank. Oh, uh, Raffaella. Mm. She grabs a hold of you and tries to push you off. She is a halfling. Uh, uh. Um, oh, forgive me. I apologize. Get off me, you oaf. Now, who who has the amulet? Zeb. Oh, yeah. Zeb does. Okay. Uh, Brand D20 against me. D20? Uh, <laughs> Five. Okay, cool beans. Uh, just FYI, your short one potion of extra healing. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Sweet. Uh, Raphael leaves, but you notice that uh, three-headed Pomeranian is holding up the line here. Uh, apparently, one person at a time goes up. This three-headed Pomeranian sniffs them uh, <laughs> and, and then either nods them on or as you stand there and watch every once in a while, they'll nod forward and these devils will come out and grab a hold of an individual and drag them off, kicking and screaming. So that's that's what the holdup is. Now, Zeb and Carl, you're at the back of the line still, I suppose. So you don't know what's going on, but Brand, Wanka, uh, that's what you got. You got a small fucking dog. There's no master of the dog around anywhere? Nope. Interesting. Now, you, you do notice that you're in a sand pit. It's almost like you're in a volleyball pit, but uh, it extends about 300 feet, so the length of a football field, in between these high towers. Uh, atop the towers, you can see canines uh, that look a little rusty uh, and barbed devils. <laughs> and they're just holding balls of flame. Every once in a while, they'll just arc one in, uh, but not at any specific person. So this place is well guarded, uh, but for some reason, the three-headed Pomeranian is a problem. Well, I will return to my allies, and I will tell them what I have seen. Wanka! Line cutter! <laughs> <laughs> I ignore anyone who's saying anything like that. 
I'm aware that I'm a hero. This is another path on a tale to glory. This is going to get shoved in the shower room. <laughs> <laughs> so he, t- he tells you that some Pomeranian with three heads is up there causing a problem. Well, maybe we should. Uh, if the, maybe the dog's sniffing out for something, they're listening. They're smelling for something. It's a drug dog, fucking cops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody got drugs on you? No. Oh, too bad. Oh, he paused. Good time for some. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this line is moving like the BMV. Okay, it is just taking a really. And you've been on that boat for three months. So, need to find a way past this. Queen Verbena could be <laughs> all sorts of being violated or molested down here. I hate to think of anything happening to our majesty. On our watch, we must make sure that we are quick and expedient about this. Are the three of you, I'm sorry, are the two of you prepared to aid me in distracting a canine? How hard could it be to subdue a Pomeranian? I I'm agree. thinking, why do we even care, right? Let's go and whack it. <laughs> but we could try to distract it. I either or I'm fine. What do you think, Carl? Yeah, I'm always the simple solution. And I haven't killed anything in three months, so <laughs> Yes. Uh, the, <laughs> if we kill their dog, they're probably gonna get pissed. I mean if someone killed my dog. I might go on a rampage and kill the mafia or something. Yeah, the Pomerini is owned <laughs> by John Wick. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yes, uh, it, it's up to you. You can try and distract it. Uh, well, I will say that if John Wick does make a presence known, this mission will be an automatic failure. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in line, by the way, has some kind of damage. Ligature marks, hanging, blade to the head. I, everybody except you three uh, look pretty damaged. There must be something that we could do, some sort of fine print that we could cross over. We're not actually supposed to be here, so we shouldn't have to follow the same rules of this plane. That's true. Let's just walk up and tell them, hey, we're here to meet uh, Bezelbob or somebody. <laughs> I was hoping that perhaps <laughs> Despater himself might have been up ahead and present. Maybe I could let him know that we are here to tarry to find Queen Verbena, but alas, all I saw was the Pomeranian. So folks, check the TV guide. Looks like nine o'clock is when you'll be free to leave this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so you guys want to cut a, ahead of the line? Yeah. 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 yeah, march back over there with them. Yep. Ten bitch. <laughs> I'm name calling. Uh, they finished sniffing out a uh, male, uh, and he passes through. Uh, beyond that is is just a double line of guards. Uh, barbed devils leading to some kind of room. Uh, as you guys walk up there, uh, the next person in line, a uh, female, uh, oh, oh, wankers, did you want to go ahead? <laughs> yeah, cut her. Cut her. We're here, here in, we're here for official business. Who wants to go in first? I will. Zeb will. Uh, Zeb, the Pomeranian comes up to you. All three heads lean in. Do I treat? Do I treat? Treat, treat. I'll pull out like some rations. Do I treat? Give him a treat. Yeah, sure. It'll let you walk by. Who wants All to right. go second? <laughs> I'll go I second. will. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Carl does. <laughs> Uh, Carl, same same kind of treatment. I give us a ration as well. Okay. Uh, Brand, you want to go on up there? Mm-hmm. The dog seems puzzled. You'll forgive me, Pooch. I haven't exactly have brought any rations with me. The journey over was three months, and I do hunger sometimes. I didn't even think of that. Did we bring enough rations? <laughs> uh, the dog doesn't do anything. Uh, Carl, Zeb, you're moving forward, and it literally, it's a volleyball pit. That that, that loose sand is a good foot down. Uh, Brand, 
Dog's not doing anything, so. I'll, I'll just move in, follow my allies. Uh, 18 plus 6. <laughs> you get bit in the ass. <laughs> the, dog, oh, the, the dog bites you for 5 hit points. And you take 4 hit points of flame damage. And the other two heads. Ah! Uh, and the one in the middle's got a mouth of ass. Oh, it's so Steve. It's, it's kind of like heaven, but different entirely. Yeah, right. Uh, That's Brand, Brand will probably go ahead and geek, <laughs> uh, letting you guys know. Mm. Everybody roll initiative. Oh. All right. Uh, 21 for Brand. Three. 19. Wow. Are you using real dice or just D4s tonight? Uh, 21. Uh, Brand, you got a dog latched onto your ass. This simply will not do. I'm going to turn. My war hammer comes into hand and my shield slides off of my back to adorn my other hand. And I'm going to... Um, we'll start nice. We'll kind of give it an idea that it shouldn't be doing this. I'm just going to go ahead and <coughs> cast a uh, Sacred Flame. Nice. On your butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I, uh, as I just bring the, the Warhammer down, the dog has to make a deck save. Now, this is a clerical spell, is it not? It is. Uh, your cleric doesn't kind of reside on Hell's Plane, does it? I wouldn't assume he does. Roll percentage against me. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, only a 10. And I got a 2. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll another percentage because it doesn't go sacred. It goes uh, entirely different. We'll say uh, wild magic. I would say some wild magic, perhaps. That's a 15. Uh, 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 uh. And that is cleric. Yes. <clears throat> we'll go on the mad cleric table. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh <laughs> in the sand next to you a pineapple rises up and yells i'm wilson i'm wilson i'm wilson uh, <laughs> zeb uh brand uh ha has broken free of the, the pomeranian uh but it looks pretty pissed the hair is standing up on the back and he's created a pineapple so what do you want to do called wilson called wilson Wilson! Wilson! <laughs> Zeb, you got the 19. What do you want to do? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I go up to the dog and I go, bad dog, bad. And I whack it with my long sword. Sure. I'm going to use a fly out of the blade. I don't really want to kill it. Okay. Um, That's 14. Probably going to miss. That hits. Oh, okay, good. Then... <laughs> That's a subdue damage. <laughs> uh, eight plus five is thirteen. Disappears. The dog disappears. Dog disappears. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Does the Biff Cannon out of the old west? <laughs> uh, Dog's missing. Uh, everybody's standing in line just like, what the fuck happened? Let's go, people. We can yeah. skip the line now. Yeah. Sure. Pass, pass. Everyone in. Sure. <laughs> uh, well, they start moving forward. All right. We blend in That's with the cool. crowd. We'll go in too, yeah. Uh, the guards don't seem to give two shits. And then you guys hear, behind you <laughs> and, and remember you're in that loose sand so you aren't moving very fast mm. uh but there's growling behind you turn around and look i guess well, yeah. it's, it's not a pomeranian anymore it's a mastiff oh it charges forward uh reinitiative please oh boy only a two twelve twelve 
Eight. Eight. Uh, Carl, you being uh, a little bit faster than everybody else, you see the Mastiff start to charge, and it is charging towards Brand. Apparently tasted his meat and wants more of it. Oh, don't they all? <laughs> so it's gone from Pomeranian to Mastiff. All right, Brand, you got this. <laughs> Nice. Go team brand. Go team brand. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're gonna um, kind of walk backwards towards the entrance. Sure. And then we're we're gonna hold it action. If it comes towards us, we're gonna attack. Cool. Uh, eight. Eight is up next. That is uh, brand. <laughs> Excellent. Well, seeing that this is a little bit more dangerous now, I'm going to go ahead and be a little bit more forthcoming with my um, greeting of this beast. I'm going to go ahead and cast another spell. I'm going to gesture with the Warhammer and slam it down to the ground in front of me, and there is a thunderous boom that goes off, and then I surge forward to hit the dog with a thunderous smite, perhaps. Percentage roll. Yes, indeed. My intelligence is my negative, so I don't know enough to... (laughs) Um, 81. Uh, close, but no. Give me a d20, please. Okay. 15. Uh, yet another fucking pineapple. I'm Wilson! I'm Wilson! <laughs> the spell is ineffective. <laughs> Do I still use that spell up, though, when I when I cast it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I can keep track. Thank yep. you. Zeb, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just Eldritch Blast this dog. Percentage. Oh no, Eldritch Blast is Warlock, right? Yeah, I'm a Warlock. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> I missed the first blast. It was a two plus something. Oh, you didn't miss. You killed one of the dead people behind it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, in that case, I rolled a natural one, so I might have killed my <laughs> brand. <I don't> <laughs> Huzzah! Uh, uh, <laughs> roll any die. Odd, you hit brand. Even, you wipe out D10 of the dead. Hey, I rolled a nine, unfortunately. Brand takes the hit right oh, in the yes. ass. <laughs> Great. Half All damage. Right. Well, it is half of five, so force damage. Two. Okay. Um, Two I rolled force damage for brand. The third and final blast is a 17. Oh, yeah, that hit. All right, that was one force damage. Yeah, sorry, Tex. That's going to be a miss. Uh, Brand, uh, after getting hit in the ass, let's see (laughs) if uh, Cerberus the Mastiff gets through in the front. Probably not 16. No. Uh, Snaps right about the codpiece, uh, but misses. (laughs) Round two. Uh, Carl, things don't look like they're going well. Uh, you got two pineapple. I'm Wilson. I'm Wilson. You got Zeb trying to kill Bran. The dog wants to be a moil. It's kind of a mess already, and you're only three feet into hell. Or about 15 feet into hell. All right. Well, I guess we're going to see if we can get us a pineapple. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to cast Sacred Flame as well. Percentage Ooh, yeah. roll against me. 40 or four. Sorry, that's a four. Double zero and four. 55. Oh, yeah, that uh, that sacred flame. Uh, Brand, his God loves him. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) And do I need the dexterity roll? Um, Yeah. Yeah, it's a dex. Ooh, five. That's going to fail. All right, so uh, 14 radiant. Tacked on to the big one. <laughs> that's that's 15 damage. Nicely nice. done. Eight brand. Uh, you're, you're, you're getting it from both ends here. It's not going well for you. Mm. At, at least it. Zeb took out the next one in line. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do a full attack action. I'm going to let my magic kind of subside at this point. I'm going to go ahead and just do full-on attacking. I'm going to try to uh, smite this Mastiff and end this now. So sure. Using my Divine Smite, I'm going to go ahead and attack it. 
Okay. And coming with a natural 20. Nice. Boom. So that's a 33 total for the attack roll. And then it's going to go ahead and do. Only a 33? Only a 33. <laughs> plus 13 for my Warhammer. Uh, let's see. Uh, D, what is that? D8. Yeah, D8 plus 8. That's 4 for the bludgeoning damage for the Warhammer. And then the smite damage. Is going to be a little bit something too, and I lost it on my little cheat sheet here. Divine Smite. Uh, I'm going to burn. Well, that's making it interesting. You burn spell slots to do that. Do I have to make a percentage? Uh, that's weird. No, I, I will not do that to you. Okay. Because you're, you're um, burning through your spell slots already. I'm happy. That's it. All right. <laughs> so he's going to take. Um, I didn't specify. I'll just say it's the first level spell I do. So he's going to take another 2d8, which is going to be eight more points of damage as the Divine Smite comes down. And because I successfully hit with a divine smite i'm going to channel my divinity to have the oath of glory take effect and my allies are going to be inspired by this smite as i just bash into this mastiff's middle head so uh you guys are going to get uh temporary hit points equal to 2d8 plus my paladin level so 2d8 plus 7 which is going to be, oh, nice, an 8 and a 7, so 14 plus 8, 22 temporary hit points, guys. Wow. Uh, nice. Behind you, Brand, you hear the golf clap of appreciation as uh, Cerberus the Mastiff just... <laughs> and my and second attack swings through the empty air. <laughs> into dust. That is how we do it. Uh, okay, Cerberus is dead again. Oh, no. Who wants some of this? <laughs> the, the I'll just clap. Be, <laughs> the, the dead behind you uh, after Zeb lit one of them up. is like, yeah, we're going to pass on this. <laughs> Who is in charge here? We demand answers. <laughs> uh, the guards lining the path still don't give two shits. All right, we have come seeking a soul. Wondering, wondering how long it's going to take. Let's keep going. We got to make our way in to find this. I mean, who even knows if we're in the right place or not? The princess <laughs> could be at another castle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> Hauser, uh, you're you're slogging through the sand. Growling can be heard behind you. <laughs> oh God! Nice. Uh, Just keep going. Of, Ignore it's it. The, it's the size of a pony. <laughs> It's getting bigger, boys. Uh, what do you want to do? Everybody initiative. What a flea. <laughs> oh, my oh God. Six. Ooh. Three. Six. Twenty-one. Three. Uh, nice. You're up, Carl. Uh, uh, a, a dog the size of a pony <laughs> is... Uh, uh, and it looks like it's going after you this time, Carl. Oh, dang. I was hoping uh, Brain would be in between us. <laughs> what do you want to do? How close am I to him? Uh, you guys are all slogging through the sand, so you're probably real close. Okay. All hey, right, at least well, you got temporary hit points. That's yep. true. All right. I think we're going to... Uh, <clears throat> if we attack this again, it's gonna only going to get bigger. Really? I know we're not very smart, but yeah, we are kind of dumb. But we can even not, even we can figure this out. Damn my metabolism! What do you want to do, Carl? Run like hell or what? Um. Yeah, I think we're gonna try to. How far are we from the uh, entrance? Can we? You're, you're slogging your way. You've gone maybe twenty yards. <laughs> Great. Oh. Okay, you guys are not making a lot of headway in your heavy armor. <laughs> but you're making headway. Well, All right, I guess uh, we're going to keep walking, and when it comes towards us, we're going to uh, whack it. Sure. Walking is a good call. Uh, who am I looking at here? Because I'm doing too many freaking things at once. Uh, oh, me. <laughs> Carl. Yay, 15th level. <laughs> Carl, all three. Ah. A five. Uh... Now, do I get to attack since I held a uh, 
you will get an attack. So I've got a 16, a 22, and an 11. I'm assuming one of those hits. No, they miss. All three miss. Ow, ow. So you may take your attack now that you held your action. All right. We're going to whack it with a... Oh, nice. Crit? No, yeah, crit. 23. That crit was the initiative. <laughs> All so right. Not bad. Best squeaky toy. Any of you take a magic item as a squeaky toy? <laughs> no. That would have been a good one, though. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I am using uh, on my swing. Um, I cast the Green Flame Blade Cantrip. Sure, beautiful percentage because that's not <laughs> twenty eight, twenty two. Yeah, that's not Uh oh, Jungle, give me a percentage roll. Fifty two. <clears throat> A large banana appears on your shoulder for the next minute, granting you plus two to all saving throws <laughs> and immunity to be knocked prone or moved. I don't write this. This is just something off the internet. So <laughs> that spell doesn't go, but you've got a banana. Good. Uh, at least it wasn't a pineapple. And, and you know what? No. There is a hungry gorilla in line. <laughs> oh, I'm just, there you go. I'm just saying that. Uh, so your spell does not go off as intended. Uh, okay, but the damage from the sword <clears throat> piece will be 11. Nice. It is. Uh, it, it, it takes a hit. Uh, it attempts to bite you again, Carl. Uh, not 20. A four and a four. So Oof. only the nat 20 gets you. Uh, let's see. This one and this one. So piercing damage, four. Heat damage, four. Total of eight damage. Uh, next up, six. Brand. Uh, Carl's yes. turn to get the chew toy treatment. Closer to me, companions. My aura of alacrity will make us move faster through this sand. As long as they're within 10 feet of me, the wall move a little bit faster, but sure. we'll see how that goes. Um, well, I don't think attacking this thing is a good idea because as my ally pointed out, that's not going to be the best thing right now. I'm going to... Good luck, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Freedom of Movement on us. Nice. So I, I'm going to touch the shoulders of my companions. If they're close enough, I kind of reach a little bit if I have to. And um, oh, I have to roll. What, am, what I have to roll? Percentage. Yep. Oh, that's right. I'm still casting spells. <laughs> 57. 61. Boom. Freedom of <sighs> movement takes effect. <laughs> and uh yeah anything uh we're unaffected by difficult terrain and spells cannot reduce our speed awesome good call excellent call <laughs> zeb you suddenly feel freedom of movement course through your veins and think I'm ready to run that's right carl your friends run past you <laughs> hey guys wait up Top of the order, Carl. Uh, you feel the freedom of movement move through you, but you still have the pony-sized dog. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to disengage and run, see if we can get past uh, Brand. <laughs> Is disengage <laughs> an ability or just what you're going to try and do? Uh, just uh, what I was going to do. D6. One to two, it gets one attack of opportunity. Three to four, two, five to six, three. All right. It's a bad two. beastie. Two. I rolled a two. One attack. With a three, you hear the snapping of its jaws right about your buttocks region. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, and unaffected what? by the volleyball field you were on. You guys jettison <laughs> out. Everybody behind you. Golf claps. Uh, <laughs> Cerberus the pony uh, is dejected, returns back to its standard point, 
you guys arrive at the end of the line for this building right behind Cyclist Boy. Hey, what is that you're holding, man? What's that thing in your hand? This is my iPhone. <laughs> and I'm not getting a signal. This guy what? has crossed over the border. <laughs> <laughs> You have no idea what the fuck an iPhone is. What's your name, anyway? My name is Chad. Chad Ellis. I am a day trader. Oh. You what trade of days? How do you trade days? I'll give you <laughs> some days. She for... said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing I remember is going down the street when somebody opened a car door and I went through the window. You do oh. not know what a car door is nor a car window. Yeah, that must have been harrowing for you. This guy is <laughs> like a like a carriage door. Yes, sure, old geezer, a carriage door. He is in a long line uh waiting to get into the pavilion, but this line is moving a, a lot faster. So, so you guys only wait around a week. <laughs> I'm going to storm to the front. I I just, yeah. we need to find our queen. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you guys are, are Carl and Zeb. Are you following him? We are. Right. Oh God, bitch boy. Uh, a, a variety of insults are headed your way. You storm in, and, and in front of you, you're puzzled because this big ass building is empty, except for a table at the far side, and there are three people sitting at this table with this great big set of scales. Uh, as you enter, rudely, uh, a female, oh, thank you, oh, thank you, and goes out the door on the left. Uh, as you guys approach, uh, these three individuals, you recognize. The, these, what the hell's going on? You aren't really sure. Uh, but you recognize, uh, Zeb, you didn't, I, I don't have yours, uh, but uh, Carl, oh. yours is odd. Uh, Lucky Charms, a warlock tabaxi smuggler is behind the <laughs> table. And Brand, uh, eight, even, uh, Kazarian Van Val Kendrick, a human ranger, uh, and then somebody from Zeb's past are all sitting behind the table. It's Dirk the uh, Human Rogue. There you go. Dirk the Human Rogue. And they wave you three forward. What the hell are you guys doing here? We are here on a great and important mission. Glory has demanded that we travel here into the realm of hell to save Her Majesty, Queen <clears throat> Verbena herself. Do you happen to have any information about this, Kazranin? I'll say to my former companion. Uh, Carl and Zeb, do you want to talk to your old friends? Yeah, how's it going, Dirk? Like, we didn't really like him. He was kind of a jerk. Oh, that will be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl, what says you? I was like, what are you doing? Uh, we are here to judge you. But you three aren't dead? We're here to rescue a princess, like he said. Uh -huh. So, uh, Carl, D12 against me. Um, D12. Three. Uh, Brand, D12. Three and Zeb twelve. Uh oh, <laughs> this is not my strong suit. Oh, I got a ten. Uh, Zeb, pleasure to see you as always. Of course, uh, Brian, Kazarian. Uh, you're still a windbag. Uh, and Carl, uh, all three of them are, who do you want? What are you doing here? Why are you here? Queen of Urbina. 
Bride of King Tempest. Take your time. Yeah, she's yeah, supposed the to. Other, yeah, the other living one. Yeah, that is arrived, the one. She arrived here like a year ago. What? Where'd she, she go? She arrived here a year ago. <laughs> Where is she being held? That, that's for treating Dirk like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was jerk too, but uh, Dirk you know. Diggler. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, he he points out that she was here a year ago. Everybody, intelligence check. Not oh, say, no. oh check. boy, here we go. Ooh. This is like my dump stat, Frank. <laughs> it's all what? of our dump stat. <laughs> yeah, it might be all of our dump stat, Joe. Yeah. Ooh, Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen minus one is going to be twelve for me. Uh, Zeb? Yeah, it was a 10. Uh, z- a year for Zeb. Carl and Brand. Carry the one. Divide by I don't think time works the same way on this plane. Uh, Zeb, time works the same way on this plane. <laughs> it's been a year, whatever. <laughs> uh, she went to uh, odd even. Uh, Odd. Oh, yeah, she was evil as shit. Yeah, I remember where she went. Uh, she uh, she went. Who? She went into the volcanic fields. Uh, the fields of punishment, Carl. Um, he, she's not a good place. Uh, That's where we want to go. Okay, uh, your choice. I we cannot adjudicate you. You are not dead. So. Uh, Dirk says, hey, Zeb, get the fuck out of my building. <laughs> All right, like Dirk. I'll do dick. that. Uh, there is a door to the left, door to the right, door to the center. Which one of these doors leads to the volcanic fields? Left. And We're Brand will make his left. way to the door without hesitation. Take the left-hand path. Striding along as you exit this building. Constitution check or save, rather. Uh oh. Constitution save. Okay. Ooh. Not too happy with my 18 I just rolled. Hey, so. so, so to, yeah, what about your aura? Do I yeah. get that? Aura. aura. I have aura. I have aura of something. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, or of something always. Or of something, yeah. Or of something. 5e, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's it, the aura of something. You know, protection. It's really good. Aura of protection. Yeah, aura of protection. <laughs> aura of protection, yeah. What's the advantage there? So it gives me and my compadres that are within 10 feet um, basically Christmas my bonus. charisma bonus. Oh, that's funny. I have that too. I overlooked that just now. Good catch, Carl. Good catch. You're you're boiling in your fucking armor and you finally figure that one out. Okay. <laughs> hey, so, I've got like two pages in front of me. This is where I was to make a multi-class 15th level character gang, so don't do it. No. See, that, that's why, I, you know, these guys asked me about why are there only three here? Because 15th level is kind of badass and it's like, uh, I've got 11 pages of shit. I yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. There's a lot here. Right. 21. <laughs> So, yeah, right? so he gives us his charisma bonus to our saves is what happens. Right. So actually, what's your charisma bonus? Plus four. Uh, actually, five. Oh, that's nice. Right. So my 18 then was it. a 24 or 23. Sure, Carl. So mine to 21. Nice. You know, this is a dry heat. So you guys are still <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it's not a broiling heat. It's just dry heat. So you guys notice it, uh, but as you exit that door, uh, there's this line of mountains and there's just plumes of fucking volcano smoke everywhere uh, beyond the mountains. And it just glows. And it's not a glow that you saw on the outside. It's a glow that you see on the inside. <clears throat> it's going to be hot. Now, leaning up against the building, smoking a cigarette with a two-inch ash on it, 
is a lady, and damned if she don't look familiar. Your old friend from the boat is here. We only wish to gaze upon your countenance once more, kind lady. <laughs> you know, it's, it's lovely when the producer gets to go ahead and participate. I just hope the volume's up for her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mildred is not thrilled to see you, but this is not Mildred. No. It, it is Penelope. Her twin sister. Oh, oh! You can tell the subtle differences. Uh, instead of this being her weak eye, this is her weak eye, <laughs> and the support nice. hose dangles to the right. There, ergo, she is a crip, not a blood. No. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing here? My sister here. told me about you. Really? We're famous already. Indeed. Not really. She said you guys didn't pick up your trash. <laughs> you guys are assholes. Harry has been waiting all day to participate subterfugely. <laughs> we have huh. been sent on a mission. As we told your sister, you are aware of our plight. We seek out our majesty, Queen of Urbina, to bring her out of this dark and mischievous place. Will you aid us in this endeavor and join upon the glory of our tale? My sister's a fucking whore. Well, I don't know anything about that, but I'll take your word for it. Hmm. However, Is there anything uh, you could do, maybe, to help? I need to let you know that my whore sister told me about the water getting splashed on you, and you need to be careful. Indeed. Is that still I, on him? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, am I still soggy? God damn it. You guys need to go to the Isle of the Blessed. Get the fuck out of my sight. Eye of the Blessed? Isle of the Blessed. The Isle of the Blessed. Do I have to, like, put it in, like, phonetics? If you could perhaps draw it upon this map, then I'll try to pull a parchment out of my pack and hand it to her. Perhaps give us a detailed directions on how to find the aisle so that we may be in and out of here as quickly as possible. How far is the stick up your ass? Well, I am a paladin who is lawful good, so it's really? very far. Yes. Yeah, well, your ass looks pretty chewed up like hamburger. <laughs> well, that's that's all in the name of glory and of duty. So Maybe you like it that way. Boy. Well, let's not let's not kink shame now, Penelope. <laughs> Penelope has been waiting a long time to just bust loose. Uh, she points to the right, uh, and instead of this abysmal volcanic shithole to the left, it's like a tropical island over to the right. Uh, it's got palm trees, what? and the sun directly breaks through the clouds and oh, shines on this island. Nice. That Dirk lied to us. <laughs> what an asshole. Mm. Quick, make sure it. you haven't been stabbed in the back as well. I don't think so. Uh, you guys hear a bring, 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 bring. All this three of you make a dexterity check. Fucking Chad is riding his bike through hell again. Oh, no. <laughs> 19. Oh, sweet. <laughs> If I get plus four, I get 24. God damn it. Could one of you guys kill this fucker for real? I am so sick of these people. Uh, Carl, what was I don't want to. Oh, it was a 23. All three of you jump out of the way as uh, Chad with his weird helmet boop, 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 uh, makes a left turn. He's going to the volcanic area, which probably is the best thing for him. Uh, Ahead, Vegas Miles Island. Let's go it, to the so, island. So if you believe Penelope, that's where you gotta go. Mm. Wasn't wasn't she pretty nice? I mean, the princess. <laughs> what do we remember about her? Was she like the backstabber or was she pretty uh, nice? The queen? She, she was nice. Okay, She's I'm an sure. angel on earth. Yeah. She is a pure epitome of the glory of our kingdom. 
We will make sure that she is protected at all costs, of course. Well, then I'm I get a dark combustive line. <laughs> she wouldn't be in this volcano place. Well, as I believe we were told, the evil magics of the one who sent her here have masked her true intentions. That is why it is of the utmost importance that we get there as quickly as possible. Who knows what sort of foul deeds could be visited upon her person while we stand here in Terry. Uh, Carl, give me a D8. D8. Oh, yes. Eight. Eight days later, you finally, oh. get, <laughs> you, you finally get to this island. It's just, it's like Vegas miles. If you've ever been to Vegas, everything looks real close, but it's not. Uh, strangely enough, you guys are not hungry, but <clears throat> there's this limestone bridge that connects hell to this veritable paradise on earth. Palm trees and shit like that. There's a hot dog stand. Frank's hot dog stand. Wow. Right there. Want to know if you want any dogs. Yeah, I'll take a hot dog. Everybody roll our can. Uh, nine. Six. Two sixes and a nine. Oh, Are you kidding me? So oh, man, it's too bad that didn't work out better than it could. Uh, so bad. <laughs> So Zeb wants to eat a hot dog, Brand, and Carl, what about you? Yeah, I don't think I need a hot dog. I'm not hungry. Carl, or Brand. I never eat while on a mission. Zeb, uh, the guy asks you if you want cheese, chili, or cheese and chili. Ooh, go both. Cheese, go chili, lots of relish, some onions. Just load it down. Load it down. This fucker loads a foot long. Real foot long, not <laughs> what they sell in the business. Foot long. I, this thing is like a kielbasa. Just nice. load it down. Roll uh, constitution at advantage. I think that's my best save. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got it. 25, and if I get the bonus for the aura, then it's 29, I guess. 29 it is. <clears throat> you get 24 temporary hit points, and you drool. You drool. I mean, this is the best damn hot dog you've ever had in your life. <laughs> it's amazing. Beautiful. Yum. Just, just incredible. I keep Ahead bragging of, about it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have one. You, it's you the guys best ever. Uh, the limestone bridge whoop, goes over. Uh, it's about a half mile, uh, but it connects with this island paradise. You can hear the tin drums, the steel drum music. Uh, you know, it's like you're on a carnival cruise. You know, you can see women in bikinis dancing over there. This place is fucking rocking solid. Heaven on yeah. hell. <laughs> so you want to go over there? Yeah, we'll go on over to Sandals. Sure. Uh, you get there, and there's a guy, strangely dressed, uh, black attire, white shirt, bow tie. Uh, uh, do you have reservations? We're here for Queen Guinevere. Bina. I mean, <laughs> for Bina. Bina. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, we are not uh, on the list. And, and you are who? Companions of the Queen. Oh, paid companions? Sure, I think they pay us. I think we're going to pay quite a bit for this job. Uh, I don't know who'd pay you, but uh, Queen Verbena is uh, due ahead. She is in the Temple of Hades, straight ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, She likes it rough. People pay you? <laughs> I, you, you? You know, some people We're just not like the, here. the armor type. Apparently not. Uh, gentlemen, if you'll follow the trail to the center, uh, you will go up the hill uh, through the minor birds, uh, and there you will find Queen Verbena. Oh, okay. thanks. Uh, as you get across, uh, there is a trail to the left where beach bunnies are frolicking uh, in very skimpy micro bikinis. 
Uh, to the right, there seems to be some kind of historical documentation, uh, a, a group of archaeologists, if you will. One of them has a funny hat and a leather jacket. Wow. Uh, or straight ahead, uh, winds through, and you can see macaws, minor birds, and parrots uh, frolicking in the fronds. I will not be deterred by these heavenly delights. I will make my way towards Queen Verbena. <clears throat> he opts to go straight. Uh, Carl and Zeb, what say you? Uh, we're talking beach honeys. We're talking I mean, like, uh, you know, 16 candles, John, uh, what's his name, honeys. Top notch honeys. Yes. Top you didn't notch. say Phoebe Cates was over there, Frank. Let's, top, uh, top, top let's notch back honeys. this up a second. Top, top shelf. <laughs> top shelf honeys. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, well. What city I mean, it already that? took us a month in the year to get here. Might as well stop off. Hot <laughs> 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 chill, friends. <laughs> there would be some, you know, a man of principle. Up. I love it. Sure. sure. Zeb goes for the frolicking. Uh, Zeb goes left. Uh, Brand. I will not be. <laughs> I am apparently alone. <laughs> I think uh, he has the hots for the queen. Yeah, uh, Brian, I'll keep going. Have... I'm, I'm okay. going to save her. Uh, Carl is going to step away for a moment. <laughs> Zeb, uh, top shelf honeys. Uh, uh, Jay and Silent Bob are. <laughs> <laughs> they approve. Uh, they off. They ask you if you will be in their volleyball game. Uh, yes, I am quite the athlete. <laughs> Let me take my helmet off and just set it right here. Uh, D twelve against me. There, Zeb. Five. A nine. Okay. Uh, you jump into the game and you start to notice that. Uh, these ladies have horns. Uh, they are very athletic. They are very toned. Uh, they are very sun-kissed. Uh, we're talking 20 charisma. These are beach babes. We're talking like 80s kind of uh, spring break babes. And they <laughs> find you enjoyable. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> They're using their Seduction skills on you. Uh, give mm. me a charisma save there, Zeb. All righty. Uh oh. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> uh, six. Uh, Zeb is a honey badger because he don't care. Uh, <laughs> Zeb, Zeb is doing the Top Gun volleyball team thing. Uh, Carl, uh, Brand on point. Is going straight ahead. He's going to get Princess Verbena. Zeb is going to get herpes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? I think we're going to. I think we're going to follow Brand. Remember, Brand. you have to come back to me if you want. To add it. <laughs> Thank God somebody's not thinking with this god piece. <clears throat> you guys go up through this winding vegetative growth. Uh, it, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, the sun is drawing down. There's moisture on the fronds. Everything is gorgeous here. As you guys reach the pinnacle of the hill, uh, you come upon a marble, a round marble uh, temple. Uh, inside the temple is the lovely and alluring Princess Verbena uh, with a man dressed in black armor uh, on his knee. Uh, Kissing her hand. Give me insight checks, Carl and Brand. Ooh. <coughs> insight. 13. Ooh. And a 19 plus 9, 28. Carl, uh, clearly, Queen Verbena is enjoying the attention. There's no question about it. This guy this guy's pumped. He's ripped. He's Schwarzenegger in his prime. Ew. Uh, this guy is <laughs> this guy's all over it. Brand, eh, you, you see, you see, because you're that D'Artagnan kind of guy. 
You see in her eyes that she's not digging this. Meanwhile, back on Sex Beach, go ahead and give me another wisdom save, Zeb, because you're about to kill the party off. <laughs> Should have gone to Sex Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 16 this time. Uh, holy shit, these are sucky by. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. This, this is probably an issue. <laughs> Uh, I, baby, you you, you got you got fangs. They decide now is the time to play topless volleyball. I'm gonna try to get out of here if they, if they look like they wanna. Really? Liar! Really? Liar! Liar! Mm, mm, uh huh. Paladin, gotcha. <laughs> Give me a wisdom save to break free of their pernicious grasp. Roll another save. Yep. Five. Ew, these guys are pretty hot. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I mean, if you have to go out, why not yeah, go out this way? Carl and Brand are probably fine, but yeah. uh, all you hear is the word boing. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go ahead and play one more game of volleyball because, you know, you don't want to disappoint. That's not you. That's not That's your nature. These people are depending. Because if you leave... They're going to be one short. That's not fair. Yeah, right. You're, um, you're playing another game. Uh, I turn to uh, Brand and say, "We need to go get Zeb. We're going to need all three, probably. What? All of us for the BBG. That's right. <laughs> A brand. What you go? Well, then no. we're break. We're breaking the band. We need to. Our queen is before us. I cannot leave her behind." I look at the guy and I'll say, you will step us away from Verbena at this instant, you foul miscreant. Dude takes off his helmet and he's gorgeous. And he's some kind of Hitler Aryan wet dream. I mean, blonde <laughs> hair, long locks. He looks like he should be on a romance novel. And he goes, this waste of a human is the love of my life. Go away lest I teach you a lesson. You will rue this day. <laughs> rue this day? Who says that anymore? Uh, Carl, uh, did you want to go uh, get Slut Boy or... Slut Boy. Yeah. Slut Boy. Brand. <laughs> Slut I'll, go. Zeb. I'll say, Brand, Brand, let's go. Let's go get uh... <laughs> Zeb. Brand, uh... Carl is suggesting that uh, you get back up. This is not over. <clears throat> oh, I will over. show you how we handle things. And then you leave. <laughs> yeah, I'll go, I'll go with Carl. Very reluctantly. I'll let your verbena before I leave the room. You are safe, lady. I shall return. I do declare. Uh, as you start <laughs> to walk down the path, yes. Mildred's sister is there chain smoking the shit out of something. Really? You boys haven't figured this out yet? God damn it. I was about to call a compelled duel upon that miscreant, but we do need all of our faculties upon ourselves. Do you have more to offer us? Not really. Yeah. Don't be sucking any cock, boys. <laughs> Brand with very little... That was one time in Paladin <laughs> College, okay? <laughs> uh, you, you guys bypass the lovely uh, woman uh, and get down there. Uh, meanwhile, in this time of crisis, this time of need, with Queen Verbena's virtue on the line, Zeb is frolicking with topless sorority girls down on the beach. <laughs> You're so strong. <laughs> <laughs> and you two arrive like, the fuck, dude? <laughs> uh, Zeb, hey, come on, Carl, let's play. Come on, you'll love it. Zeb, give me a wisdom roll again, please. Oh, good. That time I rolled, 17. Uh, you see your friends and think, 
Oh, that's right. We're supposed to be doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Zeb, clear your mind. This is like the time we were on the ship and the sirens called you away. Resist their urge. All right, I'll be yeah. back, ladies. I guess I better go. I'll Same. fulfill that- your urge for you. <laughs> Zeb, Zeb, the girls announced, uh, you need to hurry. We're going to bottomless volleyball next. Give me another wisdom save. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> See, you always send the weak one in. <laughs> 14. Uh, 14 barely covers it. You're like, the okay. Lenny and Squiggy ah, uh, clasp his shoulders, drag him away. No, no, <laughs> this is my only chance. Uh, Zeb, One more get, sex pit. Let's go. You get dragged away. Brand and Carl each take turns slapping you, unlike how the sorority girls were going to slap you. Totally different, totally uninspiring. Not, uh, not, not as fun. Not as fun. Uh, you snap out of it. I assume you guys alert him that, hey, Queen Verbena's up here at the temple, and we were too lazy to get her. (laughs) Great. Yeah, we will fill him in completely. (laughs) Oh, and you guys go past the minor birds, the macaws, this beautiful creature. You reach the temple, and lo! Uh, Yeah, Queen Verbena's not there. But because you know what? She's off boning him. That's what she's doing. Apparently, Filch has followed you guys up because she has something better to do. Uh, (laughs) The dude in the dark armor is still present. His quaffing blonde hair blowing in the breeze pulls forth his long sword and says, you have interrupted me. For the very last time, boys. Everybody roll initiative. Let's end this mess. Ugh, horrible. 18. Uh, 16. 16 for Brand. 16 and Zeb. The, the best one yet. Wow. 18, Carl. Uh, the dude in the ebony armor seems to be kind of a dick. <laughs> What do you want to do? Um, I guess I don't know if we need to fight this dude. Hold on, let me look at the clock. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) We run up there, and we're gonna do a little wackety whack with our longsword. Nice, Sir Jade Crypt. A waste your battle. Is that code wackety walk your longsword? Yes, he's going to wackety whack his longsword. That's <laughs> after we go down to play some volleyball. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Zeb's still thinking. Oh yeah. All right, but, so I have that radiant from the uh, green mm-hmm. fire blade. So do I need to roll? Still got to attack. I attacked. I got a twenty-nine. That hits. And so, ready to roll, or does it, the radiant damage? Uh, the radiant damage will affect him directly, since there are no other opponents. All right, uh, twenty-two damage. Yes. Oh, and yes. I got another. Go ahead. I have, a, I have a second attack too. Nice. So we'll hit him again. You get three. 20... I think. No, I think Paladin's only get two. Paladin's right? get two. All right. Okay. I get three. Uh, 22. That's it. Barely. And 23. So you've done 45 hit points of damage, and he does this. Uh Uh-oh. Bran, you are up. I will. I've already got my weapons and my shield adorned so that I can do this properly. I'm going to go ahead and call down my... um, Divine uh, channel my divinity once again, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, as I do that, um, yeah, I lost my list. So many things in front of me. You're going to have to uh, perform. Oh, that's my. Uh, I have to hit first. Uh, never mind. I don't do anything with it yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come at the guy. I'm going to cast a spell on the way over. I'm going to go ahead and cast my uh, where to go branding smite. Okay. 
There is a holy power that glows around my war hammer for a moment, giving its plus three properties, right. a little bit more of a holy sheen, and I'm going to surge forward to attack the big guy. My first attack is going to be, uh, oh boy, 30, 17 plus 13. Ooh, that is. Okay, so he's going to take 1d8. <clears throat> uh, so that's 11 points of bludgeoning damage, and because I hit, my allies are going to get those temporary points. They're going to be inspired. Okay. So they're going to get um, just seven. It's a little bit less than last time that I rolled, but you are inspired by the, the greatness of this moment. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack with my second attack. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a 18 to hit. Nope. Okay. Brings off his armor. Uh, Sir Jade Crypt is up next. He takes his long sword, buries it into the ground, says something Latinish, and everybody rolls Constitution saving throw. Uh, we still get the aura protection from Carl. Remember? Yep. Twenty six. Pass. You said a con save. Yep. Uh, Twenty four. Sixteen. Pass. Fail. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oops. Here comes the heat. Uh, radiant, or I'm sorry, thunder damage erupts around all of you. Murder hobo. Oh, four, yeah. Five, two, three, so 10, 16, 20. Zeb, take 20 thunder damage. Brand, Carl, take 10 thunder damage. You also take necrotic damage. Uh oh. Less, way less. That was a horrible roll. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 14. 14 necrotic damage, Zeb. Seven necrotic damage, Carl and Brand. Zeb, you are up as his destructive wave levels the foliage in the area. Zeb, your attack. Say, you're not very nice to nature, are you? And I go up to him. Fuck nature, I'm Dick Cheney. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a crit. Nice. Ooh, um... Damage, damage, modifier. Yeah. Yeah. I need a... I'm just going to click this to roll the damage. <laughs> Um, 17. What? So 17. I rolled a one on the, the damage on the crit die. Franka! <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to hit them. I got two more ties, so. Uh, you want to hit them with like force behind it? <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to try. <laughs> This time, uh, try not to bitch. Laugh 15, I'm but... assuming 15 misses. Oh, yeah, way miss. And another miss. So, two misses and a crit. R Weird. Round two, Carl, you're up. Uh, this guy is wheeling and dealing some damage. What do you want to do? We're gonna, we're gonna attack him again with our long sword. Sure, because talking is an overrated statistic. <laughs> That's right. 21 hit uh 27 hit no that's the damage oh gotcha uh -huh. and then we're gonna hit him a second time with our long sword 29 and 30 for damage he is he's not happy not happy at all uh brand you are up for Verbena! And I'm going to bring my Warhammer down. I'm going to go ahead and Divine Smite this guy. I'm going to burn my six-level spell to do that. Ooh. So if we hit... First, this percentage be roll nasty. if you hit. Well, actually, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do it. I probably should see if I hit first because it's a bonus action. I can kind of... Agree. Do it. Yep. So 
Let me let me see real quick if it hits first. Because I twenty would twenty is your magic number. Oh, okay, yeah. I rolled a sixteen on the die alone plus thirteen. So okay, yeah. So I'll do it. Percentage is going to be uh, seventy six. Forty three. You succeed successfully. All righty. So um, all right. So the the oh, hang on a second. Cut back. I here. must say the Bahama Mamas are great. Oh, nice. All right. So the Warhammer is going to come down. It's going to do its base damage of 1d8 plus 8. So that's going to be a 4 on the die. That's 12 bludgeoning damage. And then the Divine Smite is going to go ahead because I maxed it out. It's going to do 5d8. 1, 2, nice. 3. So is uh, that what the Succubus uh, Volleyball Team is called? Bahama Mama? Bahama, Bahama Mama. Yes, Mamas. Bahama nice. Mama. Only Zeb took the bait on that one. I drank the whole goddamn bottle. Yeah. Nice. Easily. <laughs> this, this is all that's left from the whole bottle. <laughs> is this uh, is this creature an undead or a fiend? Uh, it is a death knight. Uh, that's an undead. So it will be an undead. Okay, so that's actually sixty-eight. Excuse me. So the total get, for the the, uh, the advantage the on its slaves. Oh, nice. The uh, the total for that Divine Smite is going to be a 24. Nice. And then it's going to go ahead and because I am the, uh, hang on a second, Blessed Strikes, I think it's called. I, have, I forgot this the other times I hit. There's another D8 that gets thrown in there every time I hit somebody. There's another two radiant damage. I just bring the, bring the thunder down. Okay, it's it's turn, and Sir Jade is pissed. I Come at sure. me, bro. He's coming at you. Uh, you know what? I had a long-term player that always used to say, hit me, bitch. Uh, <laughs> one day I rolled double D20s. Uh, he never said that again. Josh, <laughs> I'm talking to you, baby. Uh, so I get three attacks. <clears throat> cool. First one is banishment. Oh, I had another attack, didn't I? Oh well. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I forgot. I had a second, another attack. No, you're fine. I'm um, I'm still healthy. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm hurt. <laughs> All right. So this attack is just going to be a 27. You said it's a 20 to hit him, so that does hit. And um, this is just nothing fun happens with this though because the smite was on the other one. Oh, minimum damage. So just another. Um, let's see. One plus what's my strength modifier? A five because I'm wearing the gauntlets of. Uh, giant strength so uh yeah six more points uh 164 very nice <clears throat> uh it is going to cast banishment against banishment uh, oh, shit. Oh, nice four brand it really does not like you go ahead and give me a save please okay charisma okay. save which is a, a plus for you guys oh yeah and i'm proficient with those um am i still close enough to carl to get his bonus or no uh, he falls so. against me. I, mean, I have my I would think, if I'm I would not think he would if you were both attacking them. Yeah, it's a nine. Seven. That would be negative. You are one foot outside that. <laughs> okay. I'll use my own aura protection then. It gives okay. uh, you or a friend of creature. So that's going to give me a plus four. So it's going to be D20. Oh, my fucking God. I have a plus with, okay, with my with my charisma save, I have a plus thirteen because I'm proficient with it, and then I have a plus four for my charisma bonus. I just rolled an MF in nat one, <laughs> nat one. Where'd it go? <laughs> nat one, right there. There oh, it no. is. Goodbye, Brad. Son of a bitch. Welcome, Welcome to Nirvana. Kurt Cobain is singing to you. No, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am going to use my other two attacks, one on Carl, one on Zeb. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about to break beautiful. his concentration. Uh, Carl, plus 11 to this. Ooh, 15. I'm assuming a 15 misses you, Carl. Yeah, it misses. Zeb, plus 11. <laughs> Ouch. 14 misses you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, that is not the right time for bad rolls. Zeb, <laughs> you're up. All right. uh, you notice that Brand is gone. Clearly dead. 
You can yeah. clearly. Just push the button and take you and Carl the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. All right. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh... Game over, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm back. A... <laughs> <Right>. Oh, boy. <laughs> Guys, I. What? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use a, an ability I have for it's a tiefling ability I have for um, called branding smite. Oh yeah. And, uh, I'm gonna use this smite on him as I whack him with my long sword. Uh, a 19. I'm assuming that misses. That misses. Oh my gosh! Two misses in a row. Uh, 22. I finally hit. That All is. right, um, and the total damage is ten slashing and five radiant. So, okay, if I can't hit, I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy, am I? Two round, Carl. Uh, just the two of you. Apparently, Brand's been destroyed. Just so the that, that's, two that's of what us. I'd go with. Well, nice. We make it if we try. <laughs> All right, we're gonna swing our sword. Twenty nine. Yeah. And we did 26 damage. And we swing another time. 24. Oh, son of a bitch. 33. Nice. That's hot. <clears throat> that destroys. Destroys, Sir Jake. He just implodes into the oh. dust. Uh, Brand, uh, give me a charisma save. Okay. And the dice giveth uh, going to be an 18 plus 13 plus my aura protection of plus 4. So a huge number, 30 something. I don't know. What that is. Brand ever present arrives and goes, What I miss. <laughs> he whacked uh, him. He whacked uh, him and then he died. There, There's just like a mail carrier's bag left. Uh, Sir Jade is fucking gone just destroyed uh but this large thick leather mail bag is present all right let's go through it rummage it there's a little figurine uh and you're pretty sure it's queen verbena uh, he transformed her into this little figurine it's a barbie doll is that a <laughs> is that a spell or something or it's actually like a can it check all three of you? Oh, Maybe man. we should smash it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> snap it in half and go play volleyball for all of eternity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely smash it. I rolled a six. <laughs> Phoebe Cates and uh, Kelly LeBrock are waiting for you. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, saving throw. Zevin Brand. No. Arcana. Arcana, Arcana, check. Arcana yeah. Uh, check, yeah. 14. 17 with because of my minus one. Uh Brand is the only one that figures this out, apologizes to his deity, and then <laughs> rubs the figurine. <laughs> Princess Verbena. Oh my, what has happened? Sir Carl, Sir Brand. Zeb, <laughs> I see that you have arrived to save me. You are my hero. Well, Come actually, on. we were here for the volleyball game, and we needed an extra. <laughs> we will we will get you out of here right away, Queen. And I will lead her over. Don't you want to go back and play volleyball first? But it's topless. Yeah. It's topless. And bottomless. And bottomless. And bottomless. Yeah. It's like a Playboy Bunny thing. Hugh Hefner is has got tickets to this thing. It would be okay? quite a retirement for the two of Queen, you. Queen, are you okay with that? But <laughs> Sir Brand, uh, with the stick up his ass, wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he doesn't have the ambulance. <laughs> That's right. This would be an excellent <laughs> retirement he plan for you two. Though. We do need to. We do need to get back to our king. I, I, I suppose. You. Click the thing. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll, we'll I come we'll, up and I grab, grab a hold hands. of everybody's hands. Okay. So well, now they're now they're rustling back and forth. Uh, you know what? 
since you're wrestling back and forth. Oh shit! Should we invite the uh, our tour guide to come with us? Oh, <laughs> this is Phil. This Phil. That's right, Miss Phil. This would you like Mildred, to Do you want to stick it to your sister and get back to the mortal plane? <laughs> this is. Ms. Filch is also topless, but they're banging against her knee. Nice. Uh, you, you, you know what? Brand, Seb. That's just fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> E20 against me. If I win, you're going somewhere else. Oh, come on. Hey, we'll stop the queen, though, hopefully. Yeah, you'll have the queen. All of us rolling a 20? Uh, you two are rolling a 20. You got to beat me. Okay. Okay. What's I have to roll a 20. Who's rolling? Yep. You you two are fighting over the amulet. So. I'm with that. Okay. <laughs> and, and I'm using this one. Just a straight a 20, nothing to it? Straight D20. Okay. Here's my 13 gang at home. 13. Zeb, what do you got? 12. 12. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that is a six. For those that cannot see it, so uh, Zeb and Brand have successfully <laughs> uh, fired it up. Uh, I will say, uh, Carl, give me a deck save to see if you oh, get my hand in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he wants to pull his hand out. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Your aura. I, got, I got a 14. <laughs> Uh, Uno, <laughs> uh, Carl, Princess Verbena, Brand, Zeb. What, 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 what about Miss? Uh... <laughs> you know what, producer? Go, go ahead yeah. and roll. Do you have a D twenty available, or you want me to roll? No. Uh, hang on. All right. Ooh. She's gonna roll. Gonna roll. Maybe. I rolled a one, so it should be easy. Nineteen. Penelope Filch <laughs> joins the party, slinging him over her shoulder. <laughs> you guys arrive. Hey, that's just rude. You guys arrive at the kitchen. Can we talk about your testicles and how long they are? <laughs> They're both over my shoulder as well. Uh, King Tempus. <laughs> And his uh, entourage are like, what the hell, dude? You just left. Ah, Princess Verbena. You guys have successfully brought Queen Verbena, not Princess, Queen Verbena back from the gates and beyond of hell. I must commend you on being able to beat Cerberus three times. <laughs> Uh, and Sir Jade the Death Knight, who did not get the opportunity to do his Hellfire Orb. Uh, so kudos to you three. You get to <laughs> retire with lands, titles, holdings, and no taxes for 10 years. Uh, are there John, are eight tracks? There are eight tracks available. <laughs> uh, I like to John, think that Brand walks in one day and he finds the two of them. <laughs> have committed suicide so they can return to their volleyball game. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something. This similar. thing's going to work. John, what you, <laughs> would you think of going to hell and back? Oh, yeah. It was more fun than I thought it would be. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh. Is that some hack on the DM? No, I mean, <laughs> the hell would be. I mean, that, you get volleyball, you get beaches, you get those pretty... Topless and bottomless chicks. I, yeah. you know, I, you, you should have known. I mean, the only thing missing was Jimmy Buffett. Had you gone over to the other side, you would have found Jimmy Buffett and hamburgers. <laughs> You'd have found cheeseburgers in paradise, for God's sake. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, Kevin, what'd you think? Oh, yeah, great time. Absolutely great time. Um, uh, yeah, I was also expecting a little bit something a little more hardcore, but I know you, Frank. I knew you were going to do something a little bit off the cuff. I was actually joking right. with my wife. We live near a town called Hell, Michigan, nice. and uh, I thought maybe you might do something silly like that because I know there's more than one hell in the United States, so I thought maybe you were going to do something like And then you're like, oh, yeah, there's people at a bus stop. I'm like, oh, boy, what do you do? So. 
Good stuff. <laughs> well, you know, I did have the uh, redneck pontoon boat. Yeah, yeah, that that's uh, yeah. that might be seen there. I'll be honest. That was close. <laughs> Jeff, what'd you think? It was good. It was fun. You should have had some lo- lady antebellum playing pontoon when you had. Oh, oh, oh there that we go. I thought about Kid Rock. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, Lady Antebellum would have been good. But uh, folks, dipshittery at its finest. Uh, <laughs> follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about d d join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, link is down there. Uh, if you need new math rocks, go ahead and go on over to Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. See if they got the time, the inclination, or the desire to make it for you. Uh, Oddfish Games has over 60 uh, adventure sense. Most of them are really good. Uh, some of them are the things that you stick in your boss's vents. Uh, if you're going to do a game in person, like I will at Gen Con, uh, pick those up. Uh, they really enhance the game. Uh, we've got Margu tomorrow. We've got Socium uh, Part 1 on Tuesday. That's where we're building a, uh, an entire world for you to adventure in. Uh, Jeff and John are both part of that. Uh, Kevin is just a stick in the mud. Actually, Kevin just didn't get time to go ahead and do that. Uh, that is going to be associate project on Tuesday. Next week, campaign week. Uh, uh, that bullshit cred game. Nobody watches <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, and of course, calamity, which Kevin plays on. So, oh, yes. uh, check it out. Thanks for watching folks. We hope you had a great time as much as we did. Uh, give them a big, Big old dating game kissing wave, boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks for going to hell and back with us. <laughs> Bye.